All right, next up, relationship dilemmas. What? Do, 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 do. We had a little bit of break, break for me, so let's see uh, what we've got. Yeah. I've been in my relationship now for around six years. The start was the same old honeymoon thing, a lot of sex and touchy-feely. Mm. But as time goes by, it just got less and less frequent, where it seems to only be once a month. I don't know what to do. I really love the girl I'm with, but a boy has needs. I instigate as much as I can, but just get a response. Stop thinking about sex all the time. But... I don't instigate it. Then I just think we'll become a couple that doesn't have and I can't be dealing with that. Bro, I think that's so common. I think it is common. Like it's long because I say that with us, right, in a nice way. You've got a few years of me. You're a bit over it. I, Whereas I, I'm not over it. I'm well and truly over the like, I don't play, I've always said this though, I don't place so much importance yeah, on yeah, he's sex. he's not a sex man. <laughs> like I don't place such importance on on sex. Yeah. So for me, it's not like, oh, I need fucking naan now. Give me your nani now. I don't need that, bro. I'm fine with, I'm, I'm, I can cry. I'm a busy man. Yeah. Once a month is ideal for you. No, it's I'm, great. It's, it's more than month, once a month. <laughs> but I do, <laughs> but I do think again, it comes down to sex drives as well. You, you definitely have always had a higher one than me. Yeah. Um. So that's just natural. But anyway. we just make that work. Yeah. By Ethan having sex twice a month for me, having it twice a month. <laughs> Bro, I, it's more than twice. <laughs> we a We make it work. <laughs> Bro, it's more than twice a month. Yeah. Yeah. No, it is. You're yeah. talking nonsense now. It is. No, it is. I think six years as well. Six years, yeah. It's a long time. But um, I, do, I, do, I do also think you shouldn't compare the honeymoon phase yeah, to that's your actual nuts, relationship. Because yeah. the honeymoon phase, you're both still getting to know each other. It's all exciting or whatever. When you've honeymoon been with stage each other, is a madness. Yeah. When you've been with each other six years, you're just a couple at that point. Yeah, I just think you're content with each other. I yeah. feel like in the honeymoon stage, you're both trying to show you tips and tricks. Yeah. Listen, I've got a skill. Be with me. Yeah. That's, that's how it went. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so uh <laughs> I'd, mm, it's a tough one it's a tough one because because this sounds like if it's just them they don't sound like they have kids <laughs> no it's the way he says i really love the girl but boy has his needs bro's gonna end up walking someone else that's what's gonna happen but from that sentence alone what i've gathered from that is i'm trying to fuck and if you ain't fucking me i'm fucking something else yeah yeah it don't sound great or he's it? just gonna be one of them geezers that sits in the toilet and wanks yeah, but maybe you don't do for right. This is a thing, right? Boys always want sex, but they do fucking nothing else. Like you do nothing. That woman is probably doing everything at home to clean it, tidy it, go to do the food shopping, and then cook your meals and put it on a plate. Do the washing up after it, and then what you fucking do what you want all day. Go to work, come home, have your free time, and then you want to fucking get in the sandwich. No. <laughs> Get in the sandwich. Yeah, I don't know. That was just a well, That's what you need after a hard day. You need a sandwich. And what about her hard day? She don't want a sandwich. I, I think, I think there is, uh, there's some ladies out there in the world I would that be... benefit off of a nobbin. Yeah, but not when you don't fuck all day. Don't touch me. But look, Lazy see, shit. I feel uh -huh. like the nobbin would release that energy. Well, you got energy now? No. Yeah, but look, you need that now. No, I, see? I prefer it when you go, oh, I've tied it up. Well, it'd actually be nice if you did a couple tidying ups. It's a big, big house. Listen, I've, I I've, have done, by the way, recently. Yeah, but if it, I'm talking to the figure of speech here, right? Don't get defensive. <laughs> if um, if um, you used to be like, oh, I've done this, this, this. I'm like, nice. That's a good spirit. However, if you've just gone and sat in your office and played a couple games, and then you come up, pulled your pants down, right? Put I've them done this. On. Do you want the knob? Not in? interested. Yeah. Yeah, maybe maybe you're genuinely just doing fuck all and yeah. she just looks at you with so much spite. Pent up. Yeah, like, no, go away. Don't but then again, me. maybe she does just need a good nobbin. Maybe. Maybe, maybe your t tricks and yeah. skills maybe ain't you that need good. To, maybe you're not just yeah. not good at sex and you, she doesn't You've got to you. give her the nobbin of your life to to reignite her sort of Thank fuck you, Oh, bro, me. set something up nice. Do like a candlelit dinner or something actually romantic instead of just being like, let's have sex. Yeah. Like lead your way into it. Fair. All right, next up. Should I lose my head? Go on. My best friend of four years recently started seeing someone who I dated for two years. A relationship didn't end in the best way. Friends and family had to get involved in order to calm the situation down. This friend being included... They have made their relationship official and now want us all to go out together to Winter Wonderland in a few weeks. But I honestly couldn't think of anything worse than having to go near him or supporting their relationship. Am I a bad friend for not supporting my friend? No. I think you've got your own your own issues with I that think person. you, you are yeah. allowed you could you can 
you can happily be a bystander and not want to support it. That's fine. Listen, I do also think it's like it's a small world. Realistically, people don't know that many people, right? Mm -hmm. So I just think, although it's peak, if you guys haven't got on, accept that. If they then find love, yeah, it's peak, but mm. let them have it. You don't want it anymore. Let them have it. Yeah. Let it be her bad, bad day if, she, uh, if she wants to like sign I, up to like it. Like I said, you can just be a bystander. As long as they weren't interested in each other then... Yeah. is what it is I yeah. just think if you don't want to go into my land don't go you're simple not, yeah, as like, yeah, you don't yeah. have to go I think you don't this have is to be own, around him your own guilty conscience is making you question it but you are okay yeah I, you're okay yeah like 100% yeah, yeah. I wouldn't want to go into one land with someone that I yeah that's a bit weird. yeah just walking around with someone with your ex isn't it mm. very weird it is a bit odd what's going on uh, so I wouldn't go yeah I don't think you should lose your head but just here. Just um, be secure in yourself and say, oh, I'm good. I don't need not to Not for me. Yeah. yeah. All right. Next up. Should I lose my head? Mm -hmm. I've been with my partner for nearly two years now. Every couple of months or so, the same guy pops up messaging my partner. I've been told by friends and work colleagues, we work in the same place, that this man and my girlfriend used to date. She's always denied it and said that they were just really good friends. I know Ethan will agree as us men have that spidey sense when we know something's not right. It's now progressed to him calling her and being on the phone for well over an hour. Hour is sus. I don't like it. <laughs> an hour of what? I've got a sneaky suspicion. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say men have the tingly suspicion, by the way. I would say it's women that have that. I think everyone... Uh, no, there I is. I think you just nah, know there, when there, something's there, up. There is. It's not like, subjective to man and woman. If you're being... I'll tell you what you can see. You can always see the eyes never lie right yeah so when you see a guy best friend mm. with a girl that's mm. attractive if you just look at him for a little while you know you know what's going on man you know what they're doing and it's the mannerisms that they show towards the person yeah but and you can tell man and that's when the fucking spidey dog goes doo, doo, doo. that man's a fraud he's but trying why, to fuck I my feel, missus but I think it's so different for men and women because I feel like if you gave any man the chance anywhere they're yeah. gonna fuck like I'll tell you no wait 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 let me finish because <laughs> any man will fuck don't matter if you're pretty ugly whatever if yeah. they they'll probably have sex with any woman ever they will women yes we possibly won't have sex with yeah. half the population. Like, we we do not like you. Yeah. Unless we actually like you, you're yeah. not getting close. So I think it's very different because then that makes it very hard for a woman to yeah. have a man who is a friend. Yeah. Because a man probably would fuck the friend if she said yes, but it's the woman's. If she don't want to sleep with him, guess what? He's not banging. Yeah, yeah, he's not going to get it, yeah. So I feel like it's every man fancies every woman ever, let's be real. If she gave that. you the opportunity, you're probably going to take it. I wouldn't say that. No, I wouldn't say that. 90% of the time. <laughs> I, I would say there are some dogs out there in the world that will sleep with everyone, yes. Mm -hmm. But if they're on the phone for over an hour, yeah, that is a red flag. I don't flag. like it. That's, that's the red flag. I don't flag. like it. It's got, I think it, she can have her friends yeah. for that reason I just said, but I think red flag. They have a like, brief but, chat, catch I up or something. I can't remember the last person I called for an hour. I don't think we've ever called for we've an hour. We've never called for an hour. Uh, my and there ain't that much to talk about for work for an my, hour. My phone call is, yeah, is that, that's what I'm saying. There's, yeah. there's no need for this. Yeah. Especially on top of the texting. Yeah. So you're now texting and calling for an hour. Bro, message HR. What's going on? I don't Excuse like me, that. HR, I think the sex is in the office. My alerts <laughs> yeah. would be... Wee, wee, wee. Yeah, no, it's sus. I think that one, I think you're getting cheated on. Low key, sorry. Oh, well, there's no need to just jump to conclusions. Well, he wants help. They were just really good friends. And especially if they used to date. I think if they were really good friends, you'd, yeah. If and what that means, date, by the way, work. is if it's in an office and it says... Uh, work husband. Yeah, people, it says that this man and my girlfriend used to date. What that means is they were shagging in the office at some point. Mm. Like, uh, would you know, go down the pub after work. Yeah. Uh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, Fast. dirty friend. Yeah, exactly. It might have never been official, but they was shagging yeah, at some point. And now they're calling and texting. Don't like it. Lose your head. Yeah, lose your head. Lose your head. Mm. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Just leave her. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What? <laughs> Probably fair dues. I would. Yeah. Yeah, why are you texting and calling someone else for over an hour outside of work times and then you're at work with them Fuck off. still? Yeah. yeah. Red flag, don't need it, get someone else.